What's up everyone, Technic here. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to install an SD to Vita in your PS TV or PS Vita. Thankfully, the process is a whole lot easier in 2023. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Thankfully, in 2023, all you need is a micro SD card an SD to Vita adapter such as this one, and you need a PS TV or a PS Vita running custom firmware. So if you watched my previous video, I taught you how to hack your PS Vita or install custom firmware on your PS Vita or PS TV, and now all you need to do is get an SD to Vita and a micro SD card and you're good to go. There's no uh, external adapters or anything needed anymore. You can straight up just install the SD to Vita with everything needed all straight from your PS Vita. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one, go ahead and put the micro SD card inside of the SD to Vita. There is no formatting required from the computer because you will be doing that on the PS Vita itself. Next, you're gonna put the SD to Vita inside of your device. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Next, go ahead and boot up your device and we're going to be going into the app called Vita Deploy. And remember, don't go to the install, go to start. You don't want to install Vita Deploy again. <laughs> now that we're in the Vita Deploy menu, go ahead and scroll down to miscellaneous. Once you're in the miscellaneous menu, go ahead and scroll down to format a storage device and then press the X button. Now it's kind of already auto filled for you, but if it's not, make your screen look like mine. So the target is your SD to Vita, the file system is XFAT or TXFAT or target XFAT, and then go ahead and scroll down to format target storage and then press the X button. Now unfortunately, this is the tricky part. So when you press the X button, it should say a confirmation like formatted. If it says this, that means everything was done correctly. However, if it pops up with an error, it could be a myriad of things. So I will be leaving a troubleshooting guide in the description of this video, but in some very rare cases, this could be a bad micro SD card or a bad SD to Vita, and hopefully it's a bad SD to Vita because the SD to Vita is very cheap. A micro SD card is unfortunately not that cheap. So after this is done, we're gonna move on to the next step. For the next step, go ahead and back all the way out to the main menu of Vita Deploy, and you should see an option that says Reboot. It won't be in the miscellaneous menu. You have to go all the way back to the home menu. And just scroll all the way down and press X on the reboot and your system will reboot. Once your device has been rebooted, we're going to be confirming something. So go ahead and go into your settings app. Once you're in settings, go ahead and go into the devices tab. If you don't see an option that says storage devices, please proceed to the next step. Go into the home menu and go into the Vita Deploy. Now we're going to be going into the App Downloader tab. Once you're in the App Downloader tab, go ahead and scroll down until you see something that says YAMT Installer. Check mark that and then go to download the selected apps and it'll download it for you. If you want to know what YAMT stands for, it stands for yet another mount tool. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and exit the Vita Deploy app and you're gonna see YAMT installer on the home screen. Go ahead and go into the application. For this, you're going to be installing the light version and the light version only. Press X to install and your device is going to reboot.
once your device reboots, this is unfortunately the part that might scare you a little bit. Now, as it's rebooting, you're going to see it say updating database, do not power off the system. Don't power off the system. And the scary part is, when you scroll down, you're going to notice that all of your custom firmware apps are gone. Don't be alarmed, this is normal. Go into your settings. And then go into devices. Now you're going to see a new tab that says storage devices. Go ahead and go to storage devices. Check mark use YAMT. For the UXO, leave it at default. And for the UMA0, press X on it and select SD to Vita. Now here is the interesting part. Whether you're on a PS TV or a PS Vita, hold your power button and this menu should pop up. And then for PS TV, it's going to be the PlayStation button. Go ahead and select power off. Now that your device rebooted, you're going to see the same menu popping up saying updating your database. This is a very good thing, by the way. If you scroll down, you'll see that all your custom firmware apps are back. Just go ahead and confirm that everything is back and then go into Vita Shell. If you want to completely turn your SD to Vita into your main memory card and make it to where you, you can take out your regular PS Vita memory card, or if you were just using no memory card and you just kind of put, put custom firmware on it, this step is for you. Now you're going to notice a lot of directories, but the main ones you're going to focus on is the UX0 and the UMA0. Your UX0 is your current storage device. What we're going to be doing is basically copying everything from your UX0 into the UMA0. Your UMA0 is your SD to Vita. Scroll down and go into your UX0. Make sure that this is your UX0 too. Go ahead and scroll down to the first file and press the triangle button. Once you press the triangle button, press X on mark all. This will select all of the files in the current directory. Once you press the X button on mark all, you're going to see that everything is highlighted. Go ahead and press the triangle button once more. And don't press the triangle button all the way at the top. It always has to be on the first file. So press the triangle button and you'll see the correct menu pop up and then press copy. And it'll copy all of those files for you. Go ahead and press the X button to say OK and confirm. Now press the back button, whether it's the circle or X button for you and then go into your UMA0. Now it doesn't matter where you are in this directory, just go ahead and press the triangle button and you're gonna see the option that says paste. Go ahead and press the X button to paste and depending on how many files you've had on your storage device, is going to t it determines how long this is actually gonna take for you. But go ahead and press the paste button and it'll go ahead and copy everything into your UMA0. And after this is all done, you're pretty much almost done after that. There's only a few more steps after this. As you can see, all of your files from your UX0 has been successfully copied to your UMA0. Now at this point in time, you're free to exit back right into your home menu. Alright, final step. Go ahead and go into your settings once more. Then you're going to go into your devices tab.
Now go ahead and go into the storage devices tab. Now if you want to set your SD to Vita as your main memory card, go ahead and press X on UX0 and set that to SD to Vita. And after you do this, on the UMA0 tab, set that one to memory card. After this, go ahead and hold your power button or the PlayStation button and that special menu you pop up. Go ahead and power off your device. Once you boot on your device again, congratulations, your SD to Vita is now fully set up. If you ever wanted to take out your main memory card, go ahead and shut off your device again and then take out that memory card and you can use your PS Vita as normal. I'm going to go ahead and go into Vita Shell right now to confirm that everything has been transferred over. So if you were kind of paying attention, the UMA0 before had, or the UX0 had 30.041 and the UMA0 had 29.1 or 0 0.10. Both of those switched around, confirming that the SD to Vita and my memory card have both switched places. So my SD to Vita is now my UX0. Alright, so there you have it. Your SD to Vita is fully set up in your PS Vita now. If you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. And again, if you have any issues, there will be a troubleshooting guide in the link in the description of this video. And as always, happy hacking. This is Technic. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.